Welcome back to the sports segment, and today for the final time, I'm Lucas Parent, and I'm joined by Chris Cook, Hayden Waters, and Will Denial. Let's get right into it. So last night, NBA Draft Lottery, the Spurs got the first pick, Hornets second, Blazers third, and the Pistons fell all the way to fifth after originally having tied the best odds for the first pick. How are we feeling about the results of this lottery? I'm going to be honest, I don't think the Spurs is the right fit for Wemby. You know, I, Greg Popovich really isn't a rebuilding type of coach in my opinion. He's, he's not the spot for the Spurs, like he was supposed to be gone, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. I would have much rather seen him team up with Dame in uh, Portland, but you know, we'll see how he does. I think he's one of the best prospects we've seen in a while. You know, he has super high ceiling, um, high floor even, like he's going to be a great player. You have to feel for the Pistons though. Worst record in the league, and they fall to five. That's just yeah. Yeah. they had the they were tied with the best odds, and they go to fifth. It's just not real. Yeah, they had a better record last year, and they had the fourth pick, and they took Jaden Ivey out of Purdue, and now this year, seventeen and sixty-five, finished the year, and uh, they're sitting at the five spot. And I don't know. What do you? What was your uh, favorite landing spot for Wemby? If you could pick where he went, where would it be? Yeah, it would probably be the Pistons just because of like all their struggles. I feel like even if positionally they don't need them, I feel like they're just struggling. They need bodies on their team. Right. I feel like no matter what team he went to, like he's obviously going to make an impact year one. I mean, there's a calling him generational, so I feel like whatever team he went to, in this case, is Ferris, he's going to win. What do you think his, uh, his bust ratio is? How likely do you think it is that he's a bust? Not very high in my eyes. Me personally, I think his floor is like full bowl. Yeah. And then his ceiling is, in my opinion, top five player of all time. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Also in basketball, Celtics over the weekend won game seven against the 76ers. Um, some members of our staff were in attendance. And they are now facing the Heat. How are we feeling about this series? The energy of the Garden on game seven uh, was incredible. It was an experience that I will never forget. Uh, Celtics took it in dominant fashion. Halftime, we were down three, and with the boys just came out to play. Tatum, 51. Jalen Brown, 25. Uh, even Marcus Smart, men and then packed. All around, just great performance. Yeah. Uh, bubble, bubble replay, you think this proves to those people that say, oh, bubble was a fraud? I think this proves to them that it wasn't, that it was really good basketball. And yeah, no, same, I mean, four, four, same, same four, same four, four so yeah. back in the same spot, so. Same four, four great teams, organizations, like, up and down. You just, like, look at those organizations, you're like, Lakers, great organization. Celtics, great organization. Historic. Nuggets with uh, Nikola Jokic, great. And just all the way down the list. Yeah. What do you guys see as your uh, finals matchup? I could see... I don't know. Denver looked great last night. I could see Denver Celtics. I could also see Lakers coming back in that series. But I don't know. Maybe bubble. Uh, you know, you never know. I think we'll see Jokic finally break through and bring the Nuggets to the promised land. And I think the Celtics just have too many bodies uh, against the Heat. So I'll take Nuggets Celtics in my final. And then in the final, I think the Celtics. They're the mean green machine is just going to take over in that one. Too many arsenals. They have a backpack of weapons over there in Boston. Any uh, any bias there, or I think there is, but I mean, when you have Tatum and Jalen Brown and Al Horford, like they can all knock down threes. It could get scary very early. Batman grandmother. Yes. Yeah. So as I mentioned at the top of the show, this is the final sports talk show with the seniors. I personally just want to say thank you to the guys. We've come a long way since the Chris Cook talk show. <laughs> now this. Um, any closing remarks? Yeah, I just want to thank the LHS Journalism Academy for like everything they've done for me all four years. It's been a great experience, and I'm sad to leave. Uh, you know, Chris said it all. You know, just thank you, Journalism Academy. It's been a great uh, two years for me, but yeah, it's been great. No, yeah, exactly. Me too. You know, been in the program for all four years of high school. Loved every minute of it. I just enjoy it. It's awesome. It's what I enjoy. I get to talk about sports, you know, write about sports. And uh, it's a privilege and a, it's a journey. It's truly an honor. Yeah, yeah. it's I'll an never, honor. I'll never forget it. Yeah. 
that's all we have today, and we will catch you next time. Thank you.